What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about system presets in a variety of slicers. Specifically, this is going to be geared towards the presets for the Bamboo Lab machines inside of Bamboo Studio. But the knowledge I'm going to be sharing is applicable to a ton of different printers and a ton of different slicers. So by the end of this video, I'm hoping you understand the differences between layer heights and the presets and how to choose which one for your model. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I've got this uh, bust here of Joseph Prusa. This is made by Photos Mint. If you're interested, it's on printables. You can download it. But this is a good model because if you look really close, like it's got a ton of detail. Um, and for for what I'm trying to to show you, this is this is a great example of how you would need a very specific uh, layer height in order to print this at the best quality possible. So we're gonna start off here uh, and we're gonna slice this at 0.28 layer height, which is considered extra draft. If you're really unsure what all these are, this is what I'm trying to explain in this video. Uh, let's go ahead and choose 0.28 and then slice this model and see what it looks like. So now that the model's sliced, you kind of have an idea of, of where this is going. Um, you see all the red here. This means, like, you can see the lines. This 0.28 millimeters is the layer height at which the printer prints at. So the higher the layer height, the less lines it puts down. Therefore, if you think about it, it's going to affect the resolution of the print. The smaller the layer lines, the finer detail that you can get. So you can see here on his shoulders, we have some stair stepping going on. Uh, and honestly, it just doesn't look very good. But if we look right here at his glasses, this is a good example too. The glasses are just really chunky, really hard to see. We've lost all the detail here of this little like divot. Now, don't get me wrong, on an FDM printer, this probably wouldn't be very easy to see anyways, but it's just completely like overlooking it on this slice. Something to think about too is you have less overlap to the layers below when you are printing at a higher layer height. So, you know, these overhangs here are going to be even more of an issue without support at a higher layer height. So let's go the exact opposite route. Let's go all the way down to a 0 0.08 extra fine and see what this looks like. So just by changing the layer height, you can see how much more detail we have now. Like you have the, the little divot here. You can kind of see it on the print. Let me see if I can get an angle here. Uh, yeah, so you have a little bit of the divot. The frame of the glasses is a lot smoother. We don't have as quite of many overhangs. The overhang was the blue. You can see that we're able to step across this now and it not be that much of an issue. It's considered an outer wall instead of an overhang wall. So let's zoom out here and go down to the shoulders and you can see the shoulders have less stair stepping as well. Now, something to think about is because we changed the layer height, Yes, it's a lot smoother, we have more detail, but we also have a five and a five hour and eight minute print time compared to the 0.28 at two hours. So it's literally half the time, but as you can see, it just looks significantly worse. So we're gonna have to find a good in-between, or if you don't if you have the time, you can always just go down to 0.8 and leave it. Of course, depending on your nozzle size is going to depend on what options you have here in your system presets and the recommended layer heights that you should be printing at. Everything I'm using here is with a 0.4 nozzle. But let's say we wanted to find something in between here. There, we have two options, really. We could go and uh, like use like optimal 0.16. So with this, we have a little better quality, but we have still two hours and 50 minutes compared to the uh, five hours that we had with a 0.08. And this looks pretty good. So what I don't like to see is these stair stepping. So we, we do have some options to even clean this up even further here. So let's say this is good at two hours, 50 minutes. We're going to add a little bit of time here because we're going to fix this area here and make this at a lower layer height. So let me show you how to do that. So we can go over to prepare again, and then we have the ability here to click this button here called variable layer height. What this does is it allows us to set the layer height for specific levels. So we could say, I want all this to print at 0.16 layer height or close to it. And I want this here to print at 0.08 layer height. And that's going to allow this, this stair stepping on the shoulders to kind of uh, be minimized. So let's say we want to bring this down. We want it all the way on the left side here for quality and the radius, let's just leave it at three. 
Uh, and you can see here, we hover on the right-hand side, and this yellow bar kind of shows the layers we're going to be affecting. So right here is really bad. So I'm going to uh, hover over it here and then press down on my left mouse click. Look at that. It's adding layers. I'll go down a little more, add some more layers, maybe right here. Okay, and you want to make minor changes like this and see how it affects the model. So let me go ahead and slice it now. Look at that. That's a lot better. So we up here, we still have some more work to do. So let's see if we can make this even better. So they didn't even add a lot of time, maybe like 10 minutes, I think is what it was. So let's go ahead and see if we can make this area a little better too. So we're going to hover right here and kind of say, hey, I need this to be a little lower layer height. Can you help me with that? So that right there is about as low as it gets. Let me bring it up just a shade here on the neck too. Maybe maybe down a little bit too. Cool. So now if I slice it, look at that. A ton better. And you can see how it's going to affect the model. You, you have the, these layer lines are a lot less than down here. These, they're a lot smaller, right? And so you can ver you can see this too if you go over here to line type and we change this to layer height. You can see this saying this is all 0.08. Then we go into like a 0.12 here and then we go up to a 0.15 again. And then down here, looks like it even goes to like 0.19, maybe, maybe 0.15. But yeah, you can see here where it's printing at that lower layer height to make the quality a little better. And of course, you just got to play with this. So something to think about is it may actually print this at a, a slower speed than it would print this. So you may need to tweak your speeds here to get the right overhangs and the speed for those outer walls. We could talk about that in another video. The real thing I really wanted to show you in this one is understanding layer heights and how it affects the quality. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully this helps you guys understand a little more about how layer heights affect the ability to have higher detail models, to have less overhangs, to be able to adjust your models uh, accordingly. And, you know, make sure that you're printing the specific areas at specific layer heights if you want to and so forth. So hopefully you got some information out of this video. I, I'm probably not the best teacher, but I'm trying to be better at it. So uh, thank you guys for checking out today's video. If you do have some more questions, drop them down below and I'll do my best to try to answer them. Uh, see you next time.